Okay, howdy, it's Dave Brady back. This is the second in the series of how to do a spice model import off the web and uh, quickly associate a symbol to it. In the part one, I showed you how to set up a project, use the simulation test bench option command to set the simulator engine target. In this case, we selected Eldo. And then I showed you how to use tools, convert pSpice libraries to import the vendor simulation model and again I use the import pSpice command on all models that I import um, even if they're not pSpice 1 if, if they happen to be pSpice it'll fix it but it also has this nice little feature which puts the part into your library the next step then is we opened our library and we took a look at our part it generated a block diagram so then we used the, the right mouse button on the part to set the default symbol and we picked a symbol that was already out of our library that happened to be the same symbol so that made it real easy um, then we came over and we um, checked our properties we had to add the order property otherwise it was all set up ready to go and then finally we used the uh, edit mapping command so that we could edit the mapping between the symbol pins and the simulation model ports so now we've got the component in the design. It really didn't take that long. It took probably more time to explain than it actually took to do. So there was our first symbol with the block. I guess the other point that I want to show you real quick is that uh, if we now drag and drop that part in every time we get that op amp symbol that we set the default to. Now I wouldn't necessarily recommend this if you were going to um, instantiate more parts and the reason I wouldn't is because if we went back and we looked at edit mapping you notice that the mapping is back to its default state and in fact is incorrect so the better approach is to go ahead and select the part that you've already set up control C for copy control V for paste and then click and then the new part sets up now if we take a look at this part we'll notice the mapping's right so it's a little detail I'm sure you know powers that be will get this sorted out so it always works but the point is for right now if you want to get the job done faster um, this is what I'd suggest because it works so now we got two parts but I only re really need one to validate that we actually imported the the uh, part correctly so let's drop that in there we're gonna need a couple resistors let's go back to our component library Let's find a resistor and type in R because our resistors start with R. And we'll go ahead and place the symbol. Now you notice when I place symbol by drag and drop it, I just get the one. If I use the place symbol command, now I can drop down uh, two, three. It just leaves it on the cursor for you to click them in. So a couple different ways to do that. Now to get our design right, we're going to need... A ground pin, at least one of those. We're going to need a couple of power pins. So let's give us a VCC. We're going to need oh, a DC power pin. And we're going to need a threshold power pin. All right, so let's go ahead and fix these up a little bit. So let's change that to V reference. Set the net name at VREF2. Make life easy. I think our VCC, that's already set up right. All right, this is what we're going to make DC, so VDC. Got that set up. This is our open collector resistor, so control shift R, rotate that thing around, connect those pins together, drag and drop. Alright, whoops, didn't really mean to do that. Control Z for undo. All right, this is going to be our input resistor. Oops. 
Voltage divider. Control shift R, rotate that around. Another voltage divider element. Couple of ports. Input port. Output port. Call this SIG out. Call that SIG in. Well, that's certainly messy. Now you'll notice I'm not using the net command. First off, I'm just clicking things together. Now I'm going to go ahead and use the net command to finish it off. It's just personal preference. Alright, so now we've got our basic design set up. So this is our open collector resistor. And that should be 1K. This is our input resistor. Make that 10K. Our divider resistor. Fifteen K. Our other divider resistor. Make that fifteen K too. Alright, so we now we have the elements of the design all in place. And in the next section we'll go ahead and simulate.